My name is Destiny Bottoms, and I am the Community Engagement Resource Specialist for the Shepherd's House. I am also a person who identifies as a person in long-term recovery. So February of 2018 is my proud date. My name is Ashley Loudermilk. I took the recovery coach class this past summer. I am a person in long-term recovery. Um, so I took the recovery coach class this past summer to gain more knowledge um, about the recovery coach uh, position and to help individuals in the recovery process. So along with my peer support specialist certification and working with the homeless population in our community, I thought, what else could we do? There's recovery coach training. <laughs> like, this is great. So I just wanted to stack um, as much knowledge as I could about substance use and then the mental health aspect of it and how, as a community member, we could get involved and meet them where they're at ultimately to try to bring resources and referrals that maybe they weren't aware of to them. Being a part of our recovery coach training in Surrey County meant the world to me to have so many different perspectives in the same circle. I've never been able to speak so openly with a group of individuals so that we could all bounce different perspectives and ideas off of each other, along with sharing different resources. Um, it was nice to see how we came together to best serve the recovery community as a whole. So my personal experience in this class was I really liked how we gained more knowledge about listening um, and how to ask the right questions um, to bring out in the individual what the individual may or may not know about themselves. Um, it's very meaningful to me because it helped me to find some stuff that I didn't know about myself as well as how to help others. So one thing I remember most in the class was how um, we did this practice and one person would be the recovery coach and then the other would be the recovery. And on the recovery coach side, we would listen and we would ask questions, but we would let the recovery um tell us what they wanted to tell us, and then we would ask the right questions. On the recovery side, we would tell a scenario, um, and that just helped a lot to see both sides um, of the spectrum and, and how to uh, relate to one another and how to get those best conversations going. If I could recommend this recovery coach training to anybody and they were to say, you know, on a scale of one to 10, um, you know, 10 being you absolutely have to take this, I'm going to give it an 11 <laughs> because recovery coach training welcomes all different walks of life. I had the pleasure of sitting in with a pastor, um, a school teacher with uh, 13 years experience and um, no lived experience, and then shelter staff, transitional housing staff. We were able to welcome all of these different ideas and all of these different walks of life into the same goal. And it was beautiful to see everybody come together and really brainstorm so that we can best help this person. So anyone wanting to take this class, I advise it highly because you can learn so much stuff and you can retain um, so much information about yourself and how to help others. Uh, it's a really, really, really good class. Um, uh, the director really is exceptional and he brings out the best in us. So one thing that I think that I took away from this class the most was how to listen, actively listen, um, and ask the right questions so we can help people get to where they need to be, but also meeting them where they are. So I was expecting um, a lot of paperwork, PowerPoints, and um, maybe even a bunch of like 
solo written stuff. And that is absolutely the opposite. I was so glad that I was wrong. Um, we worked together in teams um, and individually. We did breakout groups. That was amazing. And by the end of the training, I'll tell you, we all got to know each other a little bit better to the point that I believe we're all going to meet up in the future, like maybe quarterly and kind of go over what all we've witnessed since we've become recovery coaches. So these are things that really excite us. Um, within our group, we had a lot of individuals who have either loved the addict or help and enabled the addict unfortunately um and we we also had someone who buried the addict so we had so many different perspectives to figure out how to best help the community as a whole and it's it's nice seeing more community members come together that don't exactly have this lived experience, but they are showing up as resources to help these people get well. So I'm also a peer support specialist, and I've noticed that uh, in peer support, when you take the peer support specialist class, you have people that are in recovery. In the recovery coach classes, you have a diversity of people from agencies, family members that want to gain more knowledge because their family members are in active addiction. So you have a variety of um, people in the recovery coach class. I think that gives it a little more oomph. I really enjoy this class because it helped me better gaining knowledge of myself and as well as others and how to really be present with a person and how to help them see their self in a better way, but also I see myself in a better way. So it's helped me in my recovery as well.